Today I'm going to show you how to format a table in Microsoft Word using the fixed column width option, the auto fit to contents option, and the auto fit to windows option. If you're not sure how to insert or create a table in Word, I'll link a video for that in the description down below, or I'll put it in the card section up above. Let's get into the video. Now I'm going to come out of the insert table dialog box real quick. And I'll just go right back up to insert in the ribbon menu. Ensuring that it's on the insert tab, I'll click the table icon. I'll click insert table. I'll start with three columns in the number of columns section. And then I'll do maybe 10 rows in the number of rows section. Now the fixed column width section, all this does is gives you a basic table width equal amount of width in the columns and i'll show you what that means let's click ok and this is how it looks we have one column two columns three columns and all three columns have the equal amount of width now let's go home and undo this and let's go to insert and we'll click on table once more insert table and we'll do the same thing again we're going to put three columns 10 rows now let's say for example we don't want our columns to be that wide but we still want them to have the equal amount of width we'll ensure fixed column width is selected and in this section here where it says auto all that means is that it fills out the table to the width of the page wherever the margin is now your margins are these rulers here you know the basic measurement for a microsoft word page is one inch from the edge of the page so where the cursor is here and to the edge of the page it's one inch that's your margin so let's come back over here and let's say we don't want it to be filled out to the margins and we want to set our own width but we still want equal amount of width in each column we'll come here we could press either the up arrow or down arrows where that is beside the fixed column width and we could play around with that so let's say we want to go with 1.2 inches in width for each column and we'll click OK. As you could see, the table did not fill out the entire page because I told them, listen, I just want each column to be 1.2 inches in width for each column. Let's undo this and go to the second option of formatting. Let's go back to insert table, insert table, and we're going to now choose the auto fit to contents option. Now we're going to put back number of columns. We're going to put three columns and 10 rows. And then we're going to auto fit to contents. I'm going to click OK. Now this is perfect for persons who don't want to waste table space. So let's say we're in the third week of the month of January so we're gonna put this is the first week this is the second week and let's put the third week as you could see, each column has different widths because I typed the sentences differently. So for the first sentence, this is the first week, I typed out the word first. In the second column for this is the second week, I put the abbreviated or the shortened version of the word second, which is number two, numeral two, and then ND, which stands for second. And in the third column, I put the third week. I just made it really short. Now let's undo all of that. We'll go to home. And we're going to undo everything. And then we go back to insert and table. 
and we'll format our table using the auto fit to window option. Now what this option does is auto fits the table to wherever your border starts or ends. Let me show you what I mean. Let's leave five columns and we'll put five rows this time. And we'll click OK and ensuring that the auto fit to window option has been selected. We click OK. As you could see here, the table filled out the entire page because this is a standard page with a border that has one inch, right? The border here is one inch. The border here is one inch. But let's undo this. Let's go to home and we'll undo this table. Now we're going to go to layout in our ribbons menu and we're going to change the border sizing of our page. We'll go to margins and we'll click custom margins at the bottom. Now right now the top of the margin, the bottom, the right and the left of the margin is all of one inch. Now let's say we want to make that two inches all around. Two inches, two inches, two inches. I actually have a video playing around with the border a lot in a tutorial for how you do borderless printing in Microsoft Word. I'll also link that video in the description and in the card so you can check that out. And then now I'm going to continue and I'll put down to the bottom and I'll click OK. Now if you were paying any attention or if you catched it, you'll see that my cursor jumped from here to here. So it came in more closer to the middle of the page. Let me undo that. And you see the cursor jump back up there, back to one inch. And let me redo it. And you see the cursor jump back into two inches. So all that means is that your cursor is two inches or your border or your margin, I should say, is two inches from the border of your page. Now, we'll go and we'll insert the table once more using the auto fit to window option. Let's click that. Let's put back five rows for a number of rows. And we'll click OK. Now our table looks much smaller, of course, because it's confined to a, a two inch margin page from the border. Now let's go back to insert table, insert table. Now there's this last option here. It says, remember dimensions for new tables. Now, if you want all your tables to carry the same dimensions that you started creating your initial tables with, you know, you could select that. Otherwise, do not select that. There are so much more tutorials that I'm going to upload here to Microsoft tutorials only. To catch those tutorials, you know, you would have to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you would be the first to know. And I'll see you guys in the next one.